Welcome back. The Urban Professional Mixer, also known as Up Mixer, partners with the New York Association of Black Journalists and several other organizations to host the Starlight Awards. The celebration offers networking experiences, all while shining light on notable and influential community leaders. President of the NYABJ, Bonita Sostre, now joins me to discuss the celebration. Bonita, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. Now, can you talk about the Starlight Awards? Absolutely. So we're so excited to be partnering with the Up Mixer. So they're going to be December 9th, and it's going to be an event to bring together community. That's what we're doing. It's all about community impact. So we're giving away awards to people like Tamika Mallory and to other greats who do so much for the black community in all areas. So not just in journalism where I'm from, but um, in medicine, in um, scholarships for students and in engineering and all different aspects of all the different areas of the world. <laughs> now, this year the celebration will take place in Harlem, which is very exciting. Can you just explain the significance of that? I mean, it's Harlem. Harlem is where it, the Apollo is. Harlem is where the black community, we, we do so well. There's so many prominent events and industries and history in Harlem. So that's why we decided to do it there. And I mean, it's right next door to the Apollo Theater. It's gonna be a, the brand new Renaissance Hotel. It's gonna be a fabulous just experience altogether. And, and I love to see that because I think that sometimes when people wanna do nice things or they wanna do things that are celebratory, they go outside of their community. And so I thought it was so beautiful that you know it was taking place in Harlem and it was kind of shining a light on how beautiful you know that area is. So I was really excited to see that. Now, as I mentioned, the Up Mixer is hosting the event. Can you tell us a little bit more about that organization and how your partnership with them began? Absolutely. So the Up Mixer started in 2016 um, by George Santias. And he was someone that's part of the Black NBA um, organization. And he wanted to start an organization that brought together Black professionals from everywhere, not just Black MBAs or journalists or marketing, but all the different industries. So part of NYBJ joining the Up Mixer is for our group to network with other black professionals. And that's what a lot of people come to NYBJ for. So it's meeting people in business and engineering, doctors, nurses, and every other profession in between to come together to network and just to have a really great time. Now, uh, as you mentioned, it's a collaboration between many organizations. Can you just talk about the importance of partnership, especially for black organizations? Absolutely. So when we come together, we're stronger together. And we all know that we've all heard that before. And so by us coming together, we're able to just show all that we can do that black professionals can come together and that there's so many of us out there, um, especially for our younger members who have just graduated or who are in their MBA programs, they can see like, when you can see it, you can do it and you can become it. So if you're just like, hey, I'm starting out in my career, how do I become that next CEO? How do I become in this, you know, get to the C-suite? Well, you come and you network and you meet different people. Um, you know, even if you're like, I'm a nursing student, I want to be a nurse or I'm a resident. One day I want to be the head of a, you know, a hospital. You come to these events and you're by coming together, you're learning, you're networking, and you're having some fun too. Now, something that I love that you're mentioning is that there's so many different avenues. Um, and as we talked previously, you know, we talked about journalism, but you talked about, you know, engineering and like all these really amazing professions. Can you talk a little bit more about, you know, why that was important to also like include and kind of be in collaborate, you know, or partnership with, you know, things that are vastly different from your own? Absolutely. Um, because as journalists, we need to know everybody. Um, that's how we get our sources. That's how um, we're able to tell better stories. So for us, it was so beneficial to be a part of the Up Mixer and a part of this event because we're bringing together people from all walks of the earth who are all professionals who all have stories to tell. Um, that's the best way for us to tell those more unique, diverse stories is to meet people who are living them and doing them. And what better way than to network and, and get to know those people. Now, how did the Starlight Awards, which is a really pretty name, I love it. How did the Starlight Awards highlight and celebrate notable figures within the community? So, you know, the stars have aligned <laughs> and that's why we wanted to do it. Starry Nights, we're just playing off of the holiday theme. Um, but it's coming together to really show all um, of the impact that important people have had in different industries for the community. So we really want to showcase what people are doing within the black community, not necessarily just in Harlem or the Bronx or, or our five boroughs, but 
um, in general, how they are changing lives and helping people. Like, as I mentioned, Tamika Mallory, she's one of our folks that we are honoring. She's done so much for the social justice community. We're giving away a scholarship in honor of um, Dr. Chris Fang. He sadly passed away, but he was part of the Upmixer from the very beginning. And um, he's going to be one of those people that we're, we're honoring his memory and giving away a community impact award um, for those who are coming behind him. He was such a trailblazer, and these awards are for our trailblazers in our community. And I kind of want to expand on the scholarship a yes. little bit more because you, you know, talked about Dr. Christopher A. Fang. Mm -hmm. And I think that, you know, I think that's amazing. And I, I really love to see that there's also something for younger people there. You know, it's not just people who have already made it. You're honoring people who've already made it and kind of paving a way for, you know, younger generations. Can you talk a little bit about that? Absolutely. So, like, I, as I mentioned, Christopher A. Fang, or Dr. Christopher A. Fang, was a trailblazer. And that's what these awards are about. It's about honoring our trailblazers, but not forgetting those who are still coming up and those who are following that light and are gonna be our next trailblazers. And that's why we're doing this. That's why we are having this event in order to give that scholarship to students in need so that they can continue their education and help them on so that they can become the next greatest you know, person out there. Now, hosting and supporting Mixers is one of NYE, what, NYABJ's efforts to connect black professionals and promote networking. Now, as any professional knows, networking is so crucial, you know, in your, you know, just your growth as a professional. Can you talk about the importance of those opportunities? Absolutely. Um, most of the time, the way you get your next job or your next opportunity is through networking. Um, and as shy as many of us can be, it can be really scary to go into some place not knowing anybody and then start talking to strangers. But um, as journalists, that's kind of what we do. Um, so I always say for people, start early. Start, just break the ice early, go to the events. It's okay if you go by yourself. Um, but if once you go, you know, someone will see that you're by yourself. They'll, they'll talk to you. You'll make friends easily. NYABJ tries to make sure that we hold an event once a month, an in-person event, and also a Zoom event. So sometimes you're like, I just can't go out. So there's this evening event, but there's also that in-person event where you can meet people who are, you know, they're on your level, whatever your level is. Even if you're a student or if you're mid-career, a veteran journalist, we have those events for everybody and we welcome everybody so that everyone can mix and mingle. And, you know, that's the way that you get into your next spot. It really is not always what you know, but who you know helps too. <laughs> right. And can you talk about maybe some of the past events that you've had that were very successful? Sure. So um, every year we throw our annual Juneteenth Gala. Um, so ours was on June 19th and it was amazing. We had um, professionals from all the major networks there. We had um, some local organizations too. We had the Amsterdam News and many others there who were given awards um, for their work um, in black excellence and in journalism. So that's one of our like main events. We've done a black history, we have a black history month brunch that we've done in the past and it's coming up again um, in February. Wow, the time is like flying. Time is flying. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we recently did an event with JP Morgan Chase. Um, that was a very large networking event. We had over 160 people come in. We had their CEO. Um, Jamie Diamond there as well. And it was just an amazing time to be there, to network, to mix and, and meet other people in all kinds of you know areas of journalism. And plus Jamie Diamond was there as the CEO. So it was a really cool uh, event. Now, in regards to the Starlight Awards, you know, you know, what has the history been with NYAB, NYABJ? You know, is this the first time? And you know, what were the past events or the past awards like? So this is the first time that NYABJ is going to be part of the, uh, the Starlight Awards and the Upmixer, but we're so excited. Um, the Upmixer has been doing this annual holiday story for seven years. This is its eighth year. Um, and we were just like, hey, like they're doing great things. We want to be a part of it. And it's going to be a large event. Right now, I think we've sold over 400 tickets. Um, so tickets are, are still on sale, but not for too long. It's good, I'm sure it'll sell out soon, um, but we're very excited about it. Now, what impact do you hope the awards will have on the community? I'm hoping the community will see that we can all come together. It doesn't matter what industry you're in. Usually, you know, when you talk to people in their certain industry, they, those are all their friends and those are all the people they hang out with. So um, being a part and seeing all of the different uh, industries come together, we're just hoping that it will impact the community by, by bringing us together. 
Now, something that you mentioned earlier that I thought was so, uh, it really stuck with me, was that when you go to these type of, type of events, it's okay to go alone. And I think that a lot of younger generations sometimes kind of like hold themselves back because they feel like they don't have somebody to go with. Mm -hmm. Can you just talk about like, you know, how it's okay to kind of put yourself out there and like kind of that's one way to grow? Absolutely. Um, it's really scary. I'm not even going to say that it's not because you just have to like get yourself out of your apartment sometimes and be like, it's cold outside and I'm going to go by myself and I don't know if I'm going to meet anyone to speak with. But everyone is aware of that and everyone's been the only person who goes by themselves. So what most people do is they will come and they'll talk to you. And it's also get your 30 second elevator pitch ready and walk up to people and don't be afraid, especially in safe environments. So coming to an NYABJ event, you know everyone is in media, at least, you know, like you're in some form of media, you love media, you're a freelancer, whatever it is, and so everyone's going to be welcoming, and that's kind of the environment that NYABJ is. It welcomes everybody. It doesn't matter, you know, what your background is or, or where you work. It's just all about loving media and loving journalism. Right, and I could definitely agree to that. I went to one of the events, and I went by myself, um, which was a step, but everyone was so nice and so welcoming, so I can definitely say that is very true. Now, for the Starlight Awards, who can attend and what can people ex expect when they attend this event? Everyone can attend. It's open to all professionals. Um, like I said, doesn't matter what industry you're in. Anyone can buy a ticket and attend. It's going to be a kind of like a, a cocktail party type event. So come in your fun holiday dress clothes. Um, and it's going to be an award. So we're going to be giving out awards. There's going to be networking. And there's going to be just a lot of fun and maybe some dancing towards the end. Now, you mentioned that this was the first time that you're collaborating with this organization. Can you say, you know, what do you hope to see for the future of this type of collaboration? I hope that we can do it again. And I hope that this is the start of many other partnerships that we'll be able to do, not only with the Upmixer, but with the other um, eight organizations that are a part of this. It's not just NYABJ, but it's a lot of other um, organizations that are a part of this group that are all putting this together. Well, I want to thank you so much for joining us. I, you know, I've attended some of these events and I can say that they are very fun. They are very welcoming. And I'm sure that this will be like an, a beautiful, amazing award show. So I want to thank you so much for joining us and kind of sharing a little bit about that. Thank you so much. To learn more about this holiday mixer, please go to the website www.holidaysoiree.theupmixer.com. We've come to the end of our show today. I'd like to thank all of our guests for joining us and you, the viewers, for tuning in. If you miss any part of today's show, you can catch the Recable cast at 5 and 10 p.m. on Optimum Channel 67 and Verizon Bio Channel 33, or watch anytime on the web at bronxnet.org. You can catch a brand new episode of Open with Darren Jaime on Wednesday and with Rena Valentin on Friday. I'm Kevin Aline, wishing you and your safety and wellness now and always. See you next time.